how to write a systematic review on a meta-analysis very efficiently in a very good manner and you know a very quality systematic review and meta-analysis well the answer to that is that you should follow the checklist a published guideline that is followed worldwide by top journals by top authors and industries and these are actually uh, formed by the specialists in the field so for systematic review and meta-analysis many of you will be knowing that the checklist or the guideline reporting guideline is actually this prisma guideline here you'll be seeing this prisma latest 2020 checklist this is uh, actually a list of different items that you have to include when you are writing your systematic review and meta-analysis obviously you will be doing all those processes uh, in your uh, identification screening of the studies data extraction and everything the risk of bias there are different themes i'm not going to detail just my uh, concentration is here to show you how to write a very good systematic review and meta-analysis following this prisma so this prisma con uh, contains a lot of checklists that you have to make sure when you're writing your systematic review and meta-analysis to be it a very robust systematic review and meta-analysis to be very authentic and a reliable one now what's a prisma prisma stands for actually the preferred reporting items for systematic review and meta-analysis that means that these are the preferred items or the things that you should report or write in your systematic review to make your systematic review meta-analysis a stronger one a reliable one and a robust one so what is in this prisma okay just i'm showing you the things uh, quite easier this first thing first that title obviously in any research paper the first thing will be the title you'll be looking at the title so prisma says that okay title should be your first item this is item number one it should be title no title of research it will be one you will be deciding it you will be writing a paper a title will be later the topic but prisma says the first thing first the title identify the report report means a paper your manuscript identify the report as a systematic review that means whatever the title of your paper is at the end of the title or the starting of the title you will write it as a systematic review say for example my title is xyz as systematic review don't worry i'm just doing an example how how what does that mean now look at this one of the papers published in jama see this is a top advisor title risk factor associated with the post covid 19 condition a systematic review and meta-analysis see this is a both a systematic review and meta-analysis so either you are writing systematic review alone or you are writing a systematic review and meta-analysis but whatever your title is at the end you will write it identify this report identify your title as a systematic review and meta-analysis this is uh, what does first point of prisma mean now second abstract the next thing that you will be writing in your paper finally when you're writing the paper for submission second thing will be the abstract now important thing is prisma also has a checklist for your abstract separately that how to structure your separate that's i'll be showing in some next videos but that's quite simple that's only the one thing for abstract but second thing will be your abstract second item that it says you should include that's a abstract and and you have to write it according to prisma checklist so i'm showing you another example of that paper see once you have identified this title as this systematic review analysis next this is see what their abstract this is the abstract of a paper so second see this is very in the a systematic review and meta analysis published in a top journal and see it is following prisma it is then once you have done everything don't worry what should i include what should i exclude how to write just follow the prisma as it is point by point and you will be at the end you will be having a really good uh, manuscript so see the in this first thing there's a title following the prisma first checklist report uh, identified as a systematic review second this is their abstract now third thing what does prisma say third thing third point it says that okay you have to give the introduction now in introduction you have to give rational objectives now you can write it separately but most of the time the rational and this objective that is the part of the text of the in the introduction you identify uh, you know uh, your rational and objectives in that introduction so third thing is introduction and see it is giving you details not just saying you give, give this then this 
it is giving you detail that rational okay describe the rational for the review in context of existing knowledge provide an explicit statement of objective or objectives are question are questions of the review that research question review addresses so think for each the item that it says you that report this 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 what does that item mean it giving you a detail as well once you just read it you will like understand it okay okay and you must have been collecting that point during your study so don't worry about that so see here's the introduction the introduction is started of this paper see this paper has its introduction now i have another example for you you don't worry i have i have just copy pasted some papers for you your understanding only uh, i will be showing you these are actually again the jama published papers and i have just copy pasted in the word file for you say for example this is a uh, introduction sample one so this is how i see this in the end of this paper they have written the rational and objective that okay uh, looking for this uh, this paper look in the benefits and harms and associated acute treatment for episodic migraine were assessed including the and the review focus on pain related outcome such as so this is how uh, they are reported in stratigraphic review now what does the prisma say after the introduction very important thing very important thing in any kind of research that is the methods see in methods it is saying that you have to show the eligibility criteria first then you have to go information sources then you have to tell us about your search strategy how did you search how what keywords did you use what was your selection process how you selected the studies data collection process and you see it is giving you details on everything i'm not going into detail the video will be too lengthy it is you know it can be a whole one hour two hour workshop on that but i'm just showing you data items what kind of data did you take from those studies and did you study the risk of bias or not and what were your effect measures synthesis methods how you will synthesize the study you know that means just you will make only a systematic review and just narratively just tell that okay okay these are the results i you will do a pooling that you do will do a meta analysis this is what does it mean by synthesis how you will synthesize the results that you got you through your methods in that study and then your reporting of bias of assessment and certainty assessment this is how i'm just showing you a paper from here and it does not mean that each an item that it says that you will be give a separate uh, you know uh, heading for that not necessarily most people won't follow but if you follow that will be really good and the paper look like i'm just following showing you this one paper see the methods in the methods they started with the first thing eligibility criteria just like in the prisma the first thing is okay we'll see the uh, tell us the eligibility criteria what is your eligibility criteria of the including the study so uh, this is a detail below that in this analysis we including the studies reporting on risk of cancer development in women it so it is giving you detail i'm not going and see this is every meta analysis in the mathers will say that we written this as per the prisma checklist this is i have highlighted for you every paper will say this second thing this heading they have give the information sources and search strategy as per prisma first thing was eligibility criteria this eligibility criteria second thing information sources then search strategy everything so this paper is doing really good job this it is telling each and everything step by step study selection third fourth was a data collection process this is how it is then data items it is giving the detail of the this data items see it is following the prisma as it is and ultimately it is including enough details in the data and everything that they did that these things will make your uh, paper a really good and strong paper then risk of bias okay below is a detail of risk of bias i'm not going into anything of these just showing you that how following the prisma will lead you a really good systematic review and meta analysis and will include everything that is necessary effect measures it is telling about the effect measures as well then synthesis methods see that we saw in the prisma that okay mention the how did you synthesize and then reporting the bias of assessment and the certainty assessment everything see in a single paragraph it is telling the last two points 
of the prisma these were the actually last two point that was the reporting a risk of dias assessment and this certainty assessment now in the result section after that see in results it is just how it is guiding you step by step don't worry that what to include what to not just it is showing you okay in study selection tell about the study selection here the details i'm not going into detail study characteristics risk of bias in studies what are the risk of bias in those also what were the results of your synthesis and reporting biases certainty of evidence everything and see in this paper i will be showing you now in a demo of results see in results it is not in the results this has not given the each and a uh, heading of the prosma that not necessary but uh, not necessarily but it is explaining in detail everything see it is with different different headings it is explaining the everything there's so much detail in the results it is another uh, result section of another study that i just copy pasted from word see it is following prisma again as it is it is a, a continuation of the same study that we can just followed see first heading in the study selection okay how did they select the studies for this matter you see the prisma flow diagram will summarize the initial how we identified initially 3000 studies and from 40 to full tax and all blah blah and everything study characteristics what was the characteristics of these studies it is giving you detail of those studies then risk of bias of the study see third heading as it is now it is going into the detail of your that paper related details that will be different for each paper see now it is showing the synthesis methods now other above it is showing the results of actually the meta analysis that i have not here included but see some of the results were probably not able to be included in meta analysis so they have written the this narrative synthesis see this is what a result they're saying that how you will synthesize your results so some for some things the paper reports that's a narrative synthesis this is how you will write your result section i'm showing you that in results you have to show the result of synthesis for each synthesis you are briefly summarize the characteristics and, and now and all the details of these things in discussion it is see don't worry about how to write a good discussion what to include how it is see, prisma is just follow prisma just checklist by checklist and you will be leading to everything very good it is saying you actually four point and i have a, a few uh, videos and shorts on my channel that are summarizing the uh, good uh, discussion section the four or five points and exactly the basically you have to write four to five paragraphs in a good discussion and prisma is showing you that okay what to write in a good discussion saying that you provide a general interpretation results now discuss any limitations discuss any limitation of the review processes that did you used limitations in the evidence that you found and discuss the implication of your research for practice policy and these are actually the four or five points that any type of paper is in a discussion should contain these four to five and just just prisma is telling you right and you don't need to worry about that what people do that they don't uh, follow the prisma properly or don't they just underestimate the power of this prisma checklist it says so many things if you include all these things in a paper obviously and if you have uh, done a good job while initial process of research uh, you know you will be writing a very incredible paper if you follow all these things because otherwise you are blank this is telling you step by step that you include then in the end see the other information uh, that is optional you can say not necessary but if you include again it will increase the validity on paper see if a registration and its protocol did you register your protocol before writing the paper support did you get any support from financial or non financial from any organization university or anything any competing interest obviously in any paper you have to write an availability of data etc and all these things and so this is how by following the prisma checklist you can write a really good you know uh, schematic review and meta analysis just i'm showing you a whole this paper of jama this is this is their introduction 
this is how they have written the methods again the results section see a different tables these are their forest plots and see this is how their discussion has started this four to five paragraphs of discussion here at the end it has written about the limitations and finally your conclusion so this is how following the prisma you can write a really good reliable schematic of your meta analysis thank you